Ed, I have to say, as a young left-wing activist, yeah. as you must have been back then, <laughs> you should, should, should sort of stop cooking for ten years. Surely you could have suggested that she w withdrew another service, which <laughs> would have been more effective. <laughs> Look. I Maybe she know. was slowly starving him to death. just met her. I know. <laughs> yes, actually, that wouldn't have done well in conversation. And she cooked for me, and I thought it was normal. It turned out it was a complete revolution in the family, but it showed that I was obviously the chosen one. But you one. meant something it right must from have been, then. Yeah. They, they yeah. liked you. And what about no. when your mum met... She's never cooked since. Only <laughs> <laughs> once. Only once. once. What in about when years your mum met Yvette? Oh, my gosh, I remember it so well, because we were living in London, and um, my mum arrived, and, uh, and Yvette was out... And I think the house was a bit messy. And my mum basically said, who is this woman? <laughs> because it was, you know, because I think my mum thought that How messy? it was really quite messy. Multi-cups? Oh, more than multi-cups. <gasps> more than multi-cups. I love her. Even, maybe even multi-meals. Multi-multi <laughs> meals? Multi -multi -meals. Oh, we used to one kind of woman. <laughs> it had been, been a busy week. No, no, we were, um, we were kind of... Uh, Young people in politics, we were both working yeah, in Westminster. It was busy, but my mum was so disapproving. She basically said, who, who is this woman? Oh and, and did things hey, improve? Wait, did she know this? I, from that moment on, have cooked and cleaned in our house for the, for the next 20 years. <laughs> really? I, I, definitely, because I'm always worried my mum might turn up. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd have a go at a bet again. That is ridiculously <laughs> well, cute.